I always loved literature, but years ago as a college student, a professor started describing how meter worked. Every last syllable of it was saturated with significance. To quote the Book of Wisdom with number, measure, and weight. And I don't remember what else happened in class that day because I spent the rest of the class trying to scratch out one line of iambic pentameter. And I thought, this is really tremendous. This feels like a miracle. Poetry is not difficult, it's not hard, it's not lofty. What it is is refined so that it can age well, precisely because at every moment we need to know the truth about ourselves and about our world. And I think poetry not only represents truths to us, but it gives us the words so that we can understand them. There's something about a poem where we sense that it's a work of human craft, and yet, no matter how hard you work on a poem, there's always something coming from above. When the beauty of the world awakens us to the fact that everything that exists is a miracle, it calls us to change our life. How do we live appropriately in response to this? And I think the only way to do it is to cultivate that part of ourselves that was intended by God to be able to know and love the world and to know and love Him. An encounter with beauty is a reminder that we were born for something beyond the concerns of this world. We were born uh, to contemplate the divine eternally. How much less often do we think of land not as the stuff laying idle to be grabbed, but as a stage, a platform, where we stand not empty, for upon it we depend, not arbitrary, for it's all been formed so long before our dawning that we sense a hundred histories have gone to dust deepening the hillsides, carving out its rivers. How rarely do we think of it as place, as scene where destinies are shaped by grace.